Hey Girl Scouts, it's Kate, the Digital Media Specialist for Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan, and today we are going to talk about scientists and engineers who work on NASA space science projects. During this video, we will cover a few women in history of the past and present that have worked for NASA in different careers that might pique your interest. Let's dive in and explore NASA and space science. What does NASA stand for? It's a great question. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The first female executive in NASA was Nancy Roman. She was a noted American astronomer who made important contributions to the stellar classification and motions. She served as NASA's first chief of astronomy throughout the 1960s and 1970s, establishing her as one of the visionary founders of the U.S. Civilian Space Program. Nancy Roman was also known as the mother of Hubble for her role in planning NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. When Nancy was younger, she organized an astronomy club with her friends to learn more about the constellation. A fun activity you could do with your Girl Scout troop is pick a constellation in the sky and track it every night for a few weeks and see where it moves in the sky. Astrophysics, which is the study of the stars and exoplanets, galaxies, dark matter, and energy, as well as the origins of the universe. Dr. Kimberly Smith is a NASA research astrophysicist that has embarked on a highly multidisciplinary career, spanning space instrument, telescopes, and mission concepts. She has served as Deputy Project Scientist, leading the collaboration of the New Horizons Pluto flyby mission, and most recently, the Project Scientist for the Sophia Infrared Flying Observatory. As an astrophysicist, some of the things she will research are space telescopes, rapid space mission development, infrared detectors, infrared optics, radiation detectors, and more. Heliophysics is the study of the sun and space weather. Fondly known as Dr. Lika, also an astrophysicist, has directed and managed science programs and has built instruments for spacecrafts, but is most famous for leading the cause of heliophysics, the study of the sun and its effect on the solar system in NASA, which is a dedicated solar program being developed under her guidance and her leadership. As someone that researches heliophysics, some of the things she'll research is the nature of the sun, how it influences the very nature of space, and in turn, the atmospheres of planets and the technology that exists there. The third division is Earth Science, the study of our home planet and Earth from space. Margaret Glasgow is a geophysicist in the Earth Surface and Interior Group at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology. She works as a disaster coordinator for JPL and is a member of the NASAR Project Science Team. Her research includes modeling the Earth's crust to study post-seismic responses to large earthquakes, numerical models of the crust, simulations, analysts of fault systems, and analysts of geodeca data. And lastly, we have our planetary science, the study of our solar system, planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and more. Natalie Cabral is a planetary scientist at the SETI Institute and director of the Carl Sagan Center. Ms. Cabral leads projects in planetary science and astrobiology, developing exploration strategies for Mars. She was chosen to help select the landing site for Spirit, the Mars Exploration Rover. Because of her extensive studies of similar environmental conditions that existed on early Mars and here on Earth. She documents life adaptions to extreme environments, the effects of rapid climate change on lake ecosystems and habitats, its geobiological signatures, and relevance to planetary exploration. One of my favorite posters is this one here because it shows every single badge that a Girl Scout alum has worked on and been involved with NASA. One 
of the ways that I like to get involved with learning about space and NASA is using my telescope here. So I have this small little starter Orion telescope here, and it's just what I need for what I want to do. And I have this little uh, combined camera adapter that goes on my DSLR camera, and I can take pictures of Constellation or the moon, and I can get really great shots with this, and I can watch the night sky and track things. So. That's why I love this hobby. That's one of my favorite things is being able to go out and look at the night sky. Hopefully you saw something in this video today that piqued your interest to start looking out at the night sky and dive a little deeper into space and science and see what you can discover. Once you've completed this badge, you'll have a better understanding of space science and ways you can explore to be a part of NASA now and in the future. To get the rest of the requirements in the badge, you can ask your troop leader or order it online at girlscoutshop.com slash gshum or place an order with your local Girl Scout retail shop. And thanks so much for tuning in today, and I hope that you learned a little bit more about NASA and you can go out and explore on your own now.